On the call tonight, we have our Executive Vice President, Jason Norton. And your hosts for this evening, Barb Mills and Eric Morgan. Welcome, everybody, to the Tuesday Night Conference Call. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your schedule and joining us for a uh, what's going to be a fabulous call tonight. Man, am I excited. We've got some great things in store for you this evening. Eric, how you doing, my friend? Are you there? Good. Thank you, Bart. I'm doing great. It's uh, a fun night to be on the call because we do have Jason Norton with us, and he's got some fun things to, to talk about tonight. I'm glad you're on the call because um, this will be – he's got some great, great things to go over in preparation for a little thing called convention. <laughs> it is time. It's crazy. I think we're, what, like three weeks away? Maybe three and a half weeks away? We are. We're three. We're a little over three weeks away, and um, we're so three we're and a half. Thanks for clarifying what I just said, Eric. Well, I mean, technically, it's not three and a half. It's just a little over three. <laughs> Quiet three and a half. That's what I said. Uh, you just over want three. people to know there's still time for them to get tickets if they need it, right? Oh, for sure, for sure. And if you're if you're on the fence, or if you've got people on the fence, um, I don't know what we can do to to um, help you get there. But boy. Please don't miss out on this one. We've got so much going on and so much that that you really um, – so many takeaways from this convention that you really don't want to miss. You don't want to miss out on this one. Bart Mills. He'll be there. I, I will be there. I am really excited to be there and to talk with you guys, to shake your hands. seems like it's just once a year we get to see you. Know, we get to see you. And it's it's been over a year because, uh, you know, it's going to almost be like a year and – Three or four months since last convention. Right? Year and a half. Well, I have. You know, I'm. I'm <laughs> you are just. You're on one tonight, Eric. But it's going to be great to see everybody. Shake your hands. You know, chat chat with you on the Tuesday night opening social. Hopefully, everyone's going to be there. I know Chef Todd's got some great things planned, so we want to see you there. Just do yeah. whatever you can to be there. For sure. We've. Um... There's there's a lot going on here, Bar. Did Eric, you did you hear um, or did you did you smell like mushrooms in the in the building today? Did you? I don't smell like mushrooms, but I do remember seeing some as I was walking uh, up to my office earlier today. I thought I saw a big load being unloaded that said mushrooms, or that was going into the. It said, it said mushrooms. Just said mushrooms, <laughs> and not just mushrooms. It said world's best mushrooms. Well, that's exactly what they are. Boy, we, uh, we wait a, a long time for these. And if you have not heard, mushrooms are, are in the house. <laughs> they are in the house. And uh, we, we posted a news feed. I know Emily jumped on it. Emily posted on Facebook today and, and, uh, and got things going. Um, our, our policy is to get, get mushrooms out to all of the people that are waiting for them, that are um, those orders still need to be fulfilled from from uh, um, all these months of waiting. So it'll take a few weeks before we get that um, mushroom before they're available to purchase or to put in the queue. But they are in the house, and we're getting them to you and your customers. Um, and so that's pretty exciting. That's there, you, you could say, Eric, we're not a big you know here at Thrive Life, we're not a big fan of GMO. But this one we are, GMO, get mushrooms out. That's what we're a fan of. That type of GMO, my friends, get mushrooms out. That's right. Only type of GMO we allow. Well, we, we may have just, um, just stolen a number 10 can of mushrooms. We did. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Right? Call, right? For this call, we wanted to reward one of you. Um, with a number 10 can of mushrooms. Not a little pantry can. We're going big. We want to reward you with the number 10. How in the world are they going to earn this one, Bart? Well, let me tell you, Eric. First of all, I, I just want everybody to know the sacrifice that went in to get this number 10 can uh, by our one and only Eric Morgan. He had to wait until production closed down. He snuck down there uh, 
and was able to get one for the call tonight. So everyone owes Eric a big thank you for making this happen. But how you win this number 10 can of mushrooms is what we want you to do is hopefully on my screen you can see right now you can see the Thrive Life 7-7 conference call with Jason Norton event that we have in our Thrive Life consultants group page. Um, so what you do is you go into this event and uh, if you can't find the event I'll also accept you to upload pictures onto the Thrive Life consultants group page. You can do it that way as well. But what we want you to do is upload a picture of how much you want this number 10 can of mushrooms. Uh, why you deserve it, how badly you want it. We just want to see some visual evidence of you deserving this number 10 can of mushrooms. Be as creative as you want and at the end of the call when Jason Norton finishes up with some amazing announcements, some great things happening, uh, Eric and I will will uh, reveal the winner on our favorite picture uh, of who deserves this number 10 can of Thrive Mushrooms. All right. That sounds like a plan, Bart. Can't wait to see those pictures come in. Mushrooms, mushrooms. Well, we've got, we've got uh, a lot of things cooking here at Thrive Life, and we're going to get right to them. I... Um, Got just a few things to go over before we bring Jason on. Um, let me get my screen up here so you can see this. Got it, Eric. All right, so we know about the July special, this Dutch oven month. Um, it's such a fun month. Chef Todd always does such a good job with the, with the Dutch oven. He loves Dutch oven, and he's really good at it. And Thrive ingredients are so great for Dutch oven. So check out the Thrive It Up with Chef Todd. And uh, and then the monthly specials, of course, for July are uh, we've got some great deals. Um, one of the number one go tos, the sausage crumbles. Um, that's the coupon this month. So hope hope you're taking advantage that's of that. That's a home run right there, Eric. That one, uh, if I'm not mistaken, didn't that win the Thrive Madness? I you know it does sound familiar. No, it does sound I like agree. You you speak have a the truth, my friend. Yeah. Well, so uh, take advantage of that and make sure that uh, not only you are taking advantage, but your customers um, stocking up on the sausage and, and everything else that we've got going on there. We've talked about convention. Um, don't wanna, uh, I don't want to belabor this, but I really just um, encourage all of you to come and bring your team and bring your guests. Regular admission right now is $199, but there are vouchers out there that you can get for $149. Uh, if you don't know where to get those, um, go to the Thrive Life uh, consultant page or the convention page, and that's where you can find some of those vouchers for 149 But uh, also, don't forget that we are opening up the uh, opening session for free for your guests. Um, we would like them to register, but then uh, a guest pass. You can have the whole convention um, for your guests customers or potential customers or family members for $50. That does include the dinner, um, but it does not include some of the uh, some of the extras that, that consultants will get. And that, uh, that will be a lot of fun. So get to convention. If you are coming, fantastic. You're going to love it. Um, bring a friend. Bring your uh, customer family. Bring a guest. Put Thrive Foods to the test. Sing it, Eric. You were singing that. I earlier. like it. I like it, Barbara. You were singing it earlier, Eric. I want to hear you. <laughs> bring your guests. Bring your guests. Put Thrive Sellers to the test. Bart, you're amazing. I hope you're doing the uh, the um, Be a Star um, little uh, thing going on for convention because you would be great at the uh, old karaoke thing. Okay, now. We've got the summer party blitz going on. We're halfway through it. We're, well, we're over halfway through it. June is done. June is in the books. We actually have a list of hosts. We're going to draw a name tonight. We're going to draw a name so in less than 120 seconds. We're going to draw a name for the host. But I just wanted to make sure everyone knows July, um, July still going. The summer party blitz still going. What that means, get your parties booked 
and get them closed so you qualify, so your host qualifies for a free harvest, and so you qualify for the contest going on that includes the grand prize of the uh, Apple Watch, which is a pretty cool watch. So we have a list of hosts here that um, qualified in June for this harvest. And we're going to draw a name right now, Bart. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's give the people what they want, Eric. And they want to hear who the winner is. All right. Well, I don't know. I should have counted how many of these little pieces of paper. But there are a lot. I'll ballpark there are a it. Lot. I'll ballpark it. Uh, I'm going to say it. about, uh, what, 280? I don't know. It's probably something like that or more. But... <laughs> I am here. I am grabbing a name. No peeking error. There we go. Okay. I've got a name here. <laughs> this person qualified and is going to win a harvest. This person's consultant is. I'm going to name the consultant. So you're, first. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're, See that? You're drawing this tease out a little bit more. You're going to tell us who the consultant is. I like I it. I am. This consultant is from Utah. Her name is Haley Willoughby. Haley Willoughby. Is the and consultant. her host's name is Lara York, also from Utah. Lara York. Lara York. Congratulations. For June, you're getting a harvest. And congratulations to you. Congratulations to Haley. And we have we will do this one more time in July. Actually, we'll uh, we'll draw for it uh, the first call in August. Um, but uh, all your hosts will qualify. You close the party, and it's it's over five hundred dollars. Qualify for this harvest, and um, and we're serious. We're giving these out. So, Laura York, congratulations. Haley, congratulations. And get those parties booked and closed for July, so you and your host will qualify uh, for the next drawing. All right, Bart. Man, we got some good photos coming in. I'm excited to see. Keep those photos coming in. We've got some great ones. Well, we've got, uh, as we mentioned, and we've talked about in our communications about tonight. We have Jason Norton with us. Jason, welcome, uh, welcome to the call. Thanks for being with us tonight. Thanks, guys. Excited yeah. to be here. Uh, just before before you uh, start in to your message, um, you've been what? I would say quite busy. You've been quite busy lately, in not just in preparing for convention, but just, there's just a lot lot going on here at Thrive Life. And so just um, tell me a little bit about how excited you are about the things going on and, um, and convention, and then if you'll just go right into your message after that. Yeah. Um, wow. It's been quite a month. Um, June has just been extremely busy, like you said, and, and a lot of it's because of all the hard work you all are doing here as consultants. Usually June is not quite as strong of a sales month as May, but this is one of the few times, <clears throat> maybe even the only time I've seen where our June sales were higher than May. And as you start to kind of look at comparisons to last year and others, <clears throat> our June sales are uh, nearly 30% above last June in 2014. And so we're seeing some great progress. You know. Our hosts, number of new hosts are up, parties are up, active consultants are up. I mean, it's really, I think the reason we're so busy is you and all of you, and I, I you know what, I'll take it. I love it. I love it. I love being busy. I love having a lot to do. But, you know, we've really seen this momentum start uh, really this last fall. In the fall, we started to see things really picking up, and it's continued. February, we had some um, enhancements to our commission plan, which was another bump. Um, we had a great things going in April and, and May, and, and it's been fun to see parties jumping up. This, this promotion, there are a lot of people that are qualifying, having those $500 parties. You know, on the website, when you look at it, it's not all the parties. 
there's a lot more happening there. You know, it's uh, additional consultant parties or parties that weren't 500, but uh, $500 or more. But there's a lot of people that have qualified, and it is so fun to see. I'm glad that Haley and her friend were able to uh, win um, the the harvest. We'll have one more. So. I just really strongly encourage you, in your businesses, this is not the time to let up, let off the gas. You, you can keep this momentum going because I promise you, you get into convention and post-convention, there's going to be so much excitement and so, so many things going on. You're going to um, have wished that you kept things going and kept your calendar booked uh, during the month of July. And so, you know, keep going for that, uh, for those new products. We, we have these new product, this new product line that we're launching, and you'll be earning those if you do three or more parties between June and July combined. So even if you haven't done any yet, get out and do it. Um, get those booked. You've got a month to do it before convention, and you'll be earning some of these new products. And if you do eight parties or more, you get a chance at the, um, at the Apple Watch, which is sweet. It is, it is really cool. So, you know, convention, we're going to be giving away all kinds of stuff, all kinds of gifts, all kinds of prizes. I, I really hope that all of you are planning to come. Um, you know, convention is, there's nothing else like it in this industry. If you're, if you're uh, going to be a doctor, you go to med school. If you're going to be successful in this business, you go to convention. That's all there is to it. You know, we have these meetings where we're able to go out, these events where we're out there in a few hours, or even the summit Saturdays are all day long. But when you can, for three days, immerse yourself and learn and be in, uh, inspired and, and have the fun and make the connections, there's just nothing like it. So I hope that each of you on this call are going. And I also hope that each of you have not uh, given up on bringing others with you. Um, last year, we saw in the last few weeks um, a huge jump in, in people uh, signing up and attending. And so I hope you, you realize that you want to push it till the last minute. People sometimes need to be invited seven, eight times um, to get over that fence, um, uh, to get off the fence. And, and um, I'm telling you, if everyone here on this call will uh, take my challenge, my challenge is to bring one more at least that haven't come. Ta if it's a consultant, you know, get them registered. If it's even just a guest, that can come and, and, and be a part of it. You know, they can come to the first session for free, as Eric mentioned, or they can just pay $50 and, and participate for free. All right, not for free, but, but, but participate in, in all those activities. They just won't have a chance to, to get a lot of the gifts that we'll be giving out. Um, but um, go out, still find one more, and take advantage of it, because I promise you there's nothing better you can do for the growth of your business than building your team, and there's nothing better to build your team than to have them come to convention. Because <clears throat> when your team comes to convention or potential team comes to convention, they will figure out um, the, the vision and they will figure out what they need to do to change to, to be successful. So um, I hope you're all um, doing that. And remember, with this party promotion, it's not just about winning the promotion. Just one party, the power of it. I, I hope some of you have read the newsletter that I, that I wrote. I'm seeing it more and more as we're growing as a company. The influence of one party is hard to measure because it's so powerful. We have, from some of our first parties, we have consultants now that have, that have made over a million dollars in five years, and it all starts with one party. It starts by getting people on the queue, by finding somebody, and then it just carries on from there. And so you never know. You never know, but it's a lot more, I promise you, than than uh, 100 or $200 in, in check. It can mean a lot, lot more than that. And you're blessing the lives of so many people through our great product every time you get in front of people and do it. So um, I hope that you take that challenge and that you um, get out there and do at least three parties between June and July and, and, uh, and uh, get, get part of that great movement that we've got here of this, this, part, this increase in parties. Well, so I wanted to give you guys a little background of, of the momentum that's happening. I hope you can see that great things are happening. And if you're, not, if you're a part of it, I'm sure you're seeing the benefits of it. If you're not, it's not too late to jump on board. Be a part of this, this great uh, movement, this great momentum that's happening. Because um, you're not going to want to miss out. Um, I'm getting very similar feelings that I got in the early days when there were some people saying, oh, I'm going to wait a, lot, a little longer till 
this or that, and all of a sudden there's people hitting platinum and, and uh, they, they were regretting it. And um, it's very similar feelings I'm having right now of, of the, the things that I'm seeing happening. So don't miss out. Be a part of this. Um, uh, let, it, let it be a life changer for you. But as a company, um, you know that um, we've been evolving over the last uh, five years. We started with, with uh, doing uh, home parties. And um, it, at the time, you know, when we started this company, we were really, you know, we would label ourselves an emergency preparedness company. But we've evolved. We've really, that's just um, not the only thing we are. We have become um, and are evolving more and more into a food company that provides great benefits for individuals and families. Um, you know, we, we know that our product is convenient. We found out more and more just how healthy it is over the years. And it's long lasting and you can save money and you look at these benefits and it's something very unique in the food market which is a, a several trillion dollar industry. It's a huge industry, much bigger than an emergency preparedness, the emergency preparedness industry is. So there's a massive audience out there and, and they need what we have to offer. But we believe that Thrive should be in every home. And we believe it because uh, it will help people experience the power and joy of having a more meaningful food experience. Let me say that again. We're gonna, uh, we believe that Thrive should be in every home because it's going to help people experience the power and joy of having a more meaningful food experience. We're bringing families back to the dinner table. We're creating experiences at, at, uh, with, with uh, food that have never been there before, uh, saving the time, uh, having that healthy option. Um, we're more excited than ever and more confident than ever that this is going to happen. So we've done things over the last five years to strengthen ourselves as a food company. The Smart Starts, the Thrive It Up program, uh, the recipe site, uh, the new Thrive products we've had, the Thrive Guide. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And it, as I mentioned, it started with the sampling of foods at home parties uh, to see that this is great food, great tasting food to eat, and it's great benefit. But really, to truly connect with the masses, we need to continue to align our product offering with those needs, with their needs. And so in the coming months, you're going to see things that continue to evolve with this company. Um, you're going to see things like our product packaging. I'm only giving you big hints. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you exactly what's happening tonight. You've got to be at a convention. But product packaging. You're going to see uh, new product lines. Um, our marketing strategy continues to evolve. Uh, we're doing things that make it easier to connect with the masses and help them experience the benefits of Thrive. But today I just want to talk about a couple things to give you a, a little bit of a heads up on what you're going to see over the coming months. First of all, with Thrive. As I mentioned, we are developing a new line and actually several lines over the next several years that will help us be a stronger and a, and a more um, uh, relevant food company in the world. And when you think about that, you, you got to think about, well, how are you going to uh, continue to create all of these new lines and how am I going to keep up with everything with already so many things that we have to offer? Well, if we want people to use it in, as, in a day, on a daily basis, it needs to be more clear that we're a food company and the products we offer, you know, provide some unique benefits, you know. Um, like our freeze dried does and, and like most of our product line is. But one thing to help with this is we feel like we need, uh, need to hone in on items that most closely fit the consumption model, um, items that offer something unique. Um, we've really gone through this. Um, each, each and every item in Thrive and talked about, does this fit in our future strategy? Does this not? Every Thrive item we've, we've evaluated, we've looked at, and uh, looked to see if it fit in our, in our company direction and if it supports consumption. And we've identified several items that we feel are not as well aligned with our company direction. Um, in, the few, in the coming uh, months and uh, year, years, uh, you're going to see some items that will be discontinuing that don't fit this criteria. Uh, some of those things could include maybe uh, some of those basics that we sell, like salt, wheat, uh, non-instant beans, uh, rice, TVP, and, and some of the others. Um, Many of these are, uh, are really more food storage type items that you can readily get at any store. You can get salt anywhere, wheat, um, where we're not maybe quite as unique. Um, 
What we will do, though, is we will sell through remaining inventory. We're not going to immediately um, cut off any of these, but you'll see some of these items uh, become no longer available as we sell out an inventory over the, over the coming months. Now, let me make this really clear. This does not mean that preparedness, benefit of our foods, um, is not important to us or that it's still not a benefit. It absolutely is a benefit. Our Thrive, uh, one of the main benefits is that it is so long lasting. But what we're saying is that more people buying our foods for consumption creates more of an opportunity for home stores and for people that will be more prepared. And so this direction offers uh, more, uh, it, it brings more people into our, our funnel. It brings more people to attention to us. And, and uh, they realize after eating it and, and enjoying it and seeing those other benefits that long-term uh, preparedness is also a great benefit that comes with it. So, but our focus is food and consumption and, it, and emergency preparedness is a, is a tertiary or a secondary benefit uh, from, our, from um, what we have to offer. So, the second thing that I wanted to bring up is, is our other, well, the other lines that we have. Um, as you know, FRS, uh, it, it really ties well with our food and, and, and just uh, the, um, the storing of it, but you will see, uh, you know, changes in that line in the future. Uh, also, honing that down and making it uh, a little bit uh, more, um, a little bit simpler, if you will. Now, the emergency products, is something that I want to talk about right now. And this is something that um, is the public looks at our lines and think it looks at us as a food company and looks less like an emergency preparedness company. It's probably a bit peculiar for some people who are introduced to Thrive as a high quality food company with healthy and convenient foods that help families um, to then discover that we offer emergency ponchos, flashlights, and kits. And maybe just think about this, if you were to walk into Whole Foods, which we see as our, uh, one of our biggest potential um, uh, competitors, would you see an emergency poncho there at Whole Foods? Um, this line has definitely fit well with our past direction. And it's been a great product line for us. Um, it has been a very small percentage of our sales but it has been a, a good fit up to this point. But as we go forward, well, as, as you know, we've been um, uh, do it, uh, kind of getting that line smaller and smaller. And uh, this, however, we feel it'll be easier to establish credibility in a high-quality food company if we just offer food-related products. So we've decided to remove all emergency preparedness uh, products. Of course. You know, Thrive uh, wouldn't include that. Thrive is, is very much uh, strong. But other emer the emergency preparedness line, we've decided to remove those. Uh, we feel this is going to strengthen our niche and allow us to have more mass market appeal. We also, something that you need to note is the emergency line. Um, you know, this is something that we've been looking at, as I mentioned, and, and considering and, and thinning over the last several years. Now, this is not immediate. Once again, uh, as we will with some of the Thrive items, we will be um, selling through the inventory we have, and eventually it, it uh, will we'll die off as far as uh, coming off of our site. So the, the main point that I want to make today is we have some huge things coming. Uh, as I mentioned, in our, in our branding, in our um, packaging, in new lines that we're coming to offer over the next few years, and we will be stronger and stronger as a food company with a very unique niche. What we have, one of the biggest concerns we've had from our, our leaders and our consultants is that, is that uh, there it has been so much for our new consultants to learn. All of the items that we have to offer, it's confusing, it takes time in it, and they don't feel like sometimes they can get right out and get, get going at it. And what we are doing is, uh, is we're making more room uh, for these products coming in and making it easier for you and easier to stay focused on what makes us strongest. And um, it, most of you are already doing this. Most of you are already have caught the vision and over the last couple of years are, have caught on. But this is something that is going to be very good for you as consultants, especially as 
we continue to grow in, in enrollments and grow in parties and new people introduced to be more effective and to be able to speak be, uh, with more confidence and, and simpler and, and hone in our message about who we are and what we are all about. So um, just want, want to bring that up to you now and, and you're going to start to see that. As you come to convention, you're going to see as with our new um, literature items and our, our catalogs and things, um, so much more of the food and so much stronger and uh, people will look at that and say, wow, this is a food company. This does compete with Whole Foods. This does compete with the grocery store. And, and it makes, makes a lot of sense in the uniqueness, in the, in the uh, convenience, in the health aspects, in the long-lasting aspects. Man, th this is something special. Uh, you guys already know, but it's, the message is going to be honed in uh, much more clear and it's going to be something that's going to make you as consultants be much more successful. So I'd love to tell you right now more about our, our new product lines, uh, uh, new product line, our new tools, the things that are coming, but you're going to have to come to convention to see that. Um, uh, I promise you, you will not, it, it, the, this convention will be the best we've had. Um, if you've been to others and you're questioning, oh, I've already done that, I promise you this will be different, this will be better, this will be the best one. Uh, that we've ever had. Um, it will be that way because of the products we're launching, because of um, some of the new classes we're doing, because we're doing so much more with Thrive, being a food company in our classes, in, in the things that we're doing to help you really understand and feel confident and feel, have your new people feel more confident with it. Um, I'm pumped. I am so excited. I have never felt more excitement about where we're at uh, ever even at the beginning days um, of where we're at because I'm seeing um, the momentum happen even before all of these changes are, are occurring and, and uh, the, these improvements. You know, we've been evolving and, and uh, it's just so exciting to see where we're at and where we're going. So I know that I have a little bit of an insight or a lot of an insight that you guys don't see. You'll see it more when you come to convention. You'll see it more as things um, come out over the next year or two, but um, we are so excited with where we're heading. Uh, so excited to have you as partners. You guys are the reason we are so successful, and uh, we can't do it without you. We'll, we'll continue to provide the best products. We'll continue to improve. We'll continue to improve the customer support, continue to improve the lines, um, everything we can so that you can be confident, go out there and see success as you introduce this amazing product, this amazing business to many people, and as we continue to grow. So thanks for being on with us today. Um, thanks for... Um, all you do, once again, go out there, make it ha continue to happen in Ju July. Let's keep this momentum going and looking so forward to seeing uh, you guys at convention here in just over three weeks. So thanks again, Eric. Bart, back to you guys. Yeah, thanks, Jason. Um, so great. So, uh, so much fun and exciting information. And like you said, Jason, we, um, you know, we've, we've maybe got some insights that, uh, that that they can't that, uh, the consultants may not see right now, but you come to convention and you'll you'll see the whole picture painted, and it's it's a beautiful picture. Thanks. So thanks, Jason. Great great messages, um, exciting times, making making room for some some exciting things coming coming our way here in just a few weeks. So, well, Bart, we had. Um, we got a handful of pitchers. We've, we've got a handful of people that really want those mushrooms. Yes, we do, man. We had some great pitchers come in. There's a lot of people. Let's just say there's a there's a lot of people out there that are excited that the mushrooms are back. Is that crazy? I know we didn't we didn't see that coming. I didn't. Did see, I, you know, I didn't see that coming at all. I was, you know, and then all of a sudden, boom! It's it's like Christmas. Mushrooms are back. Mushrooms are oh, back. We got no, some is. great pictures here. You know, people uh, involving their kids. You know, uh, you're changing labels on their cans. People on vacation. Uh, you know, people wanting to trade chocolate. People buying store bought. People wanting <laughs> to trade their kids. People in Hawaii that listening to the call from Hawaii on the beach. Are you kidding me? Um, you know, zombie apocalypse. We got little kids <laughs> upset. We got 
empty cans. We got you know cartoons <laughs> and people thumbs up and graphics. I mean, people are just excited. The mushrooms are back. I didn't see that coming at all, like you, Eric. But I think we have a winner, right? Yes, and uh, we have. Um, we uh, we didn't. Yeah, I, I wasn't going to choose. Bart wasn't going to choose. So we had a committee, an outside committee, to this picture. It, it comprises and, of about 30 people. And they picked the uh, the top winner. And who was it, Bart? Allison Green has won. They, they picked Allison Green's post. And if you look right now, I've got it up. You can see it. And I'm assuming it's a picture of her son or someone. I'm, I'm going to assume her son. Um, and she said, yeah, mom, because she says mom. Mom says she'll trade us for these mushrooms. She's joking, we think. Classic. I love it. Very creative. Uh, she wins. Allison, congratulations. You win a number 10 can of mushrooms that Eric smuggled out of production today for this very <laughs> call. So congratulations. That's awesome. And, and I want to say for everyone who did not win, uh, it wasn't because your your images weren't absolutely hilarious. It's because the Southside committee is out of Eric and I's hands. Our hands were tied. We were we were bound to the decision of the committee. That's right. That's right, Bart. So congratulations to Allison and um, and uh, I hope you enjoy those mushrooms. All right, everybody. We'll uh, we'll hang up for another week, but we will see you back here next week, next Tuesday night, for another great call. And as always, we've recorded this call. It will be available in the back office tomorrow uh, for your listening pleasure. And then, of course, we'll have a news feed um, that kind of documents all that Jason's talked about as well. And um, and. Uh, We'll have that going forward. So thank you, everybody, for joining the call tonight, and we'll see you next week. See you, everybody.